Moving along to your next fabulous comedian. This lovely lady, now you have to give her all the love and all your laughter because Lindy Miller, right, is a single mum of a teenage daughter. <laughs> and all she's got to console her is her pet therapy gerbil. Would you please welcome to the stage, Lindy Miller! Hello, my name is Lindy. Thanks for coming out tonight and making this such a fun night for us. Yeah. <laughs> So, a little fact about me is that I am an expert at changing while driving. <laughs> I don't know, I was pantless between Fraser Highway and 88th. <laughs> the driver of the white 4x4 Ram, you're here? Oh, there you are. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, I grew up in the West Kootenays, so pot. Yeah, kids these days, though, they're so good. My teen insists, Mom, I'm never going to drink beer. I don't want to be one of those people who gets drunk. Mm. <laughs> or, <laughs> I hate kids who smoke weed. They're such dirty emos. Uh. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean you don't want to drink beer or smoke pot? I am your parent. It is my job to guide you away from troubled things. You're just 13 years old. What am I supposed to do for the next five years? <laughs> yeah, so I grew up in the West Kootenays, but I live in Langley now. <laughs> Woo, lots of Langley here. Yeah, landlords in that town are so bad. <laughs> they treat the security deposit like a home renovation grant. They have their no intention of ever returning that money. <laughs> My last landlord wasn't even discreet about it. He showed up to the move out inspection with flooring samples under his arm. Yeah, I can see how this one's gonna go. Yeah, isn't it interesting how you always have to poop when you're talking on the phone? <laughs> I'm finding that talking on the microphone has a similar effect. <laughs> Whew, yeah, I'm going to make it. <laughs> Just a few more minutes. All right. So you all watch Netflix? Yeah. Who here watches Netflix? <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I live a low-tech life. Yeah, low-tech means music instead of TV, cooking instead of scrolling, and never being able to date because I don't have Tinder. <laughs> yeah. So, speaking of poop, there's a lot of crap out there that us parents, <laughs> we just don't want to feed to our kids. A simple request of, please don't feed that to my child, is often met with, Oh, come on, they can't have treats? Or, what's this going to do to them? Or my personal favorite from a family dinner, you give your child all the organic carrots now, but then one day, they'll have a non-organic carrot, and then bam! <laughs> <laughs> Their body won't know what to do. So I dished out all the carrots, and I gave double to my child. I wanted to find out what BAM looked like. <laughs> yeah. So there, I saw an annoying bumper sticker the other day. Boss baby on board. I don't know, did these parents deliver Megatron? <laughs> then that's cool, keep the bumper sticker. But this was in Langley. <laughs> so you know these are likely the wine o'clock crowd. 
I lived here in a while, I can make those jokes. <laughs> Yeah, boss baby on board. It makes it seem like this child is predetermined to be an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you moan it? Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> but. You know, as this child growing up through life, you're going to get those people who say, oh, you pick your parents before you're even born. And this child's like, no, I didn't. I was mixed up at birth. <laughs> yeah, all the moms are at the mat ward laboring away that day. All the babies are floating up in the air in their pre-baby state. <laughs> this one's ready, jumps right in. I didn't mean to come out of this vagina. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna make me an asshole. <laughs> oh. All right, thank you everyone. <laughs>